Hey guys, we're back, and we only have um, a few mere minutes before the curse befalls us. Uh, with any luck, we'll be able to actually see it ourselves. Didn't the beast uh, say we had a few hours? He means minutes. Like, I don't know. Because they're the same thing. Yeah, they're the same thing. What's, what's a factor of 60 here or there? I don't know, seriously. Well, let's see. Um... How about we waste some time and see what happens when we turn into a beast, huh? Um, there's one more thing we could... I wonder if we could, like... No reason. What? Sing Sing! Ah, Sing Sing only out. likes Alexander's rings, I guess. Even though they look almost the same. Sing Sing, have a drink. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that would be kind of amusing. Try to give her the knife. I'm just curious. What happens if you... Sing Sing couldn't carry a knife. Oh, look, see. Little bird couldn't oh. do anything with something that heavy. Huh? Yeah. Good try. Was there anything you noticed about the, uh, I think you forgot to mention the the music? Oh, um, yeah, if, if you guys notice, the, the music on the Isle of the Beast sounds kind of familiar. You should have heard it before, only in the Isle of the Beast, everything is played with a harpsichord. So, that's kind of a hint. That's kind of a hint if you're absolutely at a loss of what to do. I kind of like the way this game does these, um, sort of musical themes. Like, all the all the appearances of the golden-eyed people have this sort of well, variation. most of them. Most of them have these variations on the same music. Yeah, it's like... Da, 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 da. This is probably gonna clash horribly with the <laughs> sing sing music. Yes. Um, okay, Alexander holds out the rose, hoping that the bird will deliver it to the Sima. Yeah, and the Isle of the Beast has all harpsichord themes. And that's all I can think of right now. A white rose, how beautiful! It must have been from Alexander. How I wish that I could see with my own eyes, but Abdul will never allow it. He only risks capture by sending me these things, dear to my heart though they are. Fly elsewhere, my pretty friend. Do not endanger Prince Alexander again by taking tokens from his hand. Forgive me, Alexander, and forget me. I cannot return your love, for I fear that I shall never leave this castle again. Aww. Oh, that's so sad. That's sad. Alexander waits in vain for Cosima's nightingale to return, but the bird does not return, I guess. Uh, could there be something wrong? Or does Cosima simply not welcome his attentions further? Well, I, I have to forgive her and forget her, I she guess. She pricked her finger on that rose <laughs> center, Alexander, and bled to death. Nice job, pal. Very good, very good. Yes, this is- whoops, I guess we waited a bit too long. Alexander feels a strange sensation come over him. His skin begins to itch. His head throbs. Uh, <coughs> oh! Oh, I think it's supposed to say uh-oh. Wee, 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 wee! Was that the beast you could do? <laughs> no, it wasn't. At least this time he didn't go through that. The gates of the underworld. Yeah. I I don't think he really looks that much like the beast we saw at the castle. I don't think the beast has these dinosaur-like spikes or elephant feet, as far as I know. This, this guy looks kind of like Eeyore from Winnie the Pooh, doesn't he? Yeah, Eeyore if you are a dinosaur. Um, okay, so let's do this a lot faster. Um, the truth was, after I recorded the previous video, I didn't pause or anything, so time has already been running out. Um, we won't give the rose to Cosima this time, because that'll take up too much time, and it'll also, also waste our resources. Yeah, the rose is actually useful for more than one purpose. Yes, look! Looky here! Finally, she's close enough to the fence. Looking at the serving girl reminds Alexander- oh. Shit, we already saw that. Touch her. Girl would most likely be startled away if Alexander tried to reach out and touch her. 
The girl is too shy and fearful to talk to a stranger, especially a tall, handsome one such as Alexander. Well, you think awfully highly of yourself, don't you? She seems to like roses. Yeah, so I think I'll give her this one. Except, that, except she's sending to red roses and that's a That one, sir, no hermits. Pardon me, maid. I hope you don't think me forward, but I see that you like roses. I thought you might perhaps like a fresh white rose. Alexander can see the conflict uh, in the girl's face. And <laughs> can't read. Alexander can see the conflict in the girl's pretty face as she fights between her distrust of him and her desire for the white rose. The rose wins. Oh, I shouldn't, sir, but it is so lovely. I've never seen such a rose of white. It looks so pale and delicate. Wherever did you find one of such a color? There are many hedges of them on the Isle of the Beast, and they grow together like magic. Oh, truly? What an adventure that must be to see them. But I should not speak so, especially to a stranger. Thank you for the rose, though, kind sir. Do you live in this house, maid? Well, my stepmother and her children live here. I live out back in the stables. Your stepmother? Then you are not a, uh, I, I thought you were a, um... A servant? I am, I suppose. You see, my mother died and my father remarried. He passed on shortly afterwards. My stepmother has no obligation to feed or clothe me. I only try to repay her for my upkeep as best I can. I see. Is there anything I could do for you, maid? You look tired and hungry. I'm just fine, sir. Tell me, why do you not leave this place? Where could I go? What would I do? <sighs> Besides, I don't really mind the work, and I would miss my roses. I'm sorry, sir, but I don't want my stepmother to see me talking to you. She would be upset with me. Fine, okay, sorry. I actually really like Beauty. I, I, I think she's really cute with Alexander, even though we're supposed to be like OTP with Cosima. Alexander has a thought about the servant girl. He decides to bring up the subject of the beast with her. OTP? Yeah, one true pairing. Oh, right, okay. Let me tell you about the place where the white roses grow. The Isle of the Beast is an enchanted place. There's a path running through a deep forest. The path crosses three magical blockades set to keep all visitors away. At the center lives a tremendous beast. Really? Magic blockades? How exciting! What kind of beast? Is it very terrifying and ferocious? It is a beast that walks on two legs and dresses like a prince. It speaks with the voice of a man. A beast that talks and wears clothes? How is that possible? Is a beast magic too? Not magical. Enchanted. Beast was once a prince, but a witch trapped him in the form of a beast and set him on the island. There he lives in a castle in the midst of a maze. How terrible! Imagine how lonely he must be. It is a very lonely prospect, prospect isn't it? Ah, I have met him, you see. He is indeed ferocious, but who would not be? He really exists? How it breaks my heart. If I could, I would tend to such a beast. Such a beast might find comfort in a kind face. Do you not think so? Oh, I think it's so. I very much think it's so. You would not be afraid of him? Afraid? Maybe at first, but how silly of me to speak so. The roses in this little yard are the only magic I will ever see. I could take you there. In fact, I would owe you my life if you would go. If you truly wish to go. You are serious? I could leave here? I have always dreamt of leaving, but to actually go. This is the only home I have ever known. Home is a hard place to leave, even if you're unhappy there. But I will go. If I can help him, I must go. Yay. Hurry up, beauty. We're kind of in a hurry here. You could walk a little faster. No, seriously. We have minutes. Is there nothing you wish to take with you? There is nothing. Then take this ring. It is his. He will be pleased if you w would wear it. Why, it's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Thank you kindly, sir. Beauty, where do you think you're going? To a place where white roses go and to someone who truly needs me. A 
Okay, well, unfortunately, I have to cut this video short, so you'll have to see the outcome of this awesome scene next time. Bye for now, folks. Bye-bye.